Hello folks, this is Michael Savage. I decided to visit with you tonight before I eat. I've been cooking for about 50 minutes. <laughs> 5 <-0. clears throat> Look, I have two podcasts a week. I have three Newsmax TV appearances a week now. That's three six or seven minute appearances. You say, oh, big deal, it's not that big. I want you to think about size and substance for a minute. If you want to go by size, look at Andy Cooper. Large audience, but basically brainwashed dummies who can't see through his fake glasses and the fact that he's a pimp. A pimp for the lowest order of America. How a gay man cannot see what he is doing to this country. Who's, aren't gay men supposed to be more sensitive? How can a gay man not see the fascism he is unleashing on this nation? Parents attacked at a school board meeting for saying, no, you're not going to put down my children and make them feel like they're garbage because they're white. You'd think Andy Cooper, who's white, and his husband or wife is white, and his baby is white, or whoever basted the baby was apparently a Caucasian woman. Where are the gays not speaking out on the growing fascism in this nation? Oh, you can't speak out at a school board meeting? You don't think it's going to bite you in the behind soon? You're wrong. So we have an emerging fascism under Biden. You say, well, Biden's not all there. You know, for a while I thought it was an act until I saw his hands freeze up the other night, the Beavis and Butthead hands. It's sad. I said that tonight on my Newsmax TV show. It's sad to see a senior citizen being abused like this by the radical left. They're abusing him. Do you understand when the man's hands went out during that town hall with Andy Blooper? what he was doing. He was lost. He didn't know where he was. He was reaching out to hold on to something. It was frightening to watch. So you say, well, they should remove him. And who's waiting for us? The cackler? Willie Brown's cackler? Are you joking? Now, let me back up for a minute. I got to eat dinner tonight. I, I cooked for an hour. I shopped for an hour. I did my TV show today. And I got to tell you something. I got to have a drink of wine. So bear with me. I know what's going on. I've tried to be warning you for 25 years. <clears throat> this is a communist revolution. Listen to me. It is a, co a naked communist revolution. Some of us have seen it before others. Now everyone sees it. Well, most people in the media who are <clears throat> open-minded see it. The man who poisoned America's mind was Bernie Sanders. He is the reincarnation not only of the devil but of Karl Marx. He is Lenin, he's Marx, he's Mao. He's Pol Pot, that little bastard. That little bastard from Brooklyn, Bernie Sanders. So people say to me, what can you do? Well, what can you do? First, you gotta recognize your enemy, then you gotta expose your enemy, then you gotta talk about your enemy. Some of my friends are combat veterans who fought in Vietnam against communism. They have shrapnel in their body. I did not fight in Vietnam. They did, yet they respect and love me. So shut up about this. Just shut the hell up. The men who fought and are crippled from it or damaged from it love me. So you shut up, you left-wing bastards. Just shut up. <clears throat> they know what the battle is. They know we're fighting a communist revolution. They know Bernie Sanders is a bastard. They know occasional cortex is a greedy, aggressive, Hispanic supremacist who is using Bernie Sanders' rhetoric to rip the nation apart and rape it with racism. She is a racist through and through. And Jailapal, the Indian monster, the India, the monster from India, Jailapal, where did this monster come from? And the Somali with the headdress, where'd she come from? So listen very carefully. You think that there are barriers to pr protect us from them? There are some, but they're not who you think they are. No, 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 they're not the Fox News hosts at all. Some of them know what's going on and they're good people, but they can't say it because they're owned by the James Murdoch branch or the Murdoch family. He'll throw them out as fast as you can say prawn Hannity or prawn vanity or prawn manatee. 
that overbloated lying bastard. Want me to talk about other things? Okay, we'll talk about food. What's the dish called? It's uh, called Michael's Saturday Night Storm is Coming Dinner. It'll last me for two or three days. I'm not even hungry anymore. But it's really a signature dish that I make. Chicken, organic chicken with the bone in, cut up. Got to have the bone in. The bone gives it flavor. Expensive shiitake mushrooms because I like food and I know food. There's so many things in there, so many complex elements. <clears throat> the mushrooms on top of the chicken, the kabatapi mixed with the other noodle. Mm hmm. Mm. God, it's good. So here we are. And that looked good. Now, these look good in the market. You know, they're hard to cook into a dish because the. the the uh, sour principles or the bitter principles will go into your dish. So I cook them separately, baby broccoli, so to speak. I'll put them on the side, put them in one dish. I cannot wait to eat tonight because living well is the best revenge, but, you know, cooking well is even a better revenge. Now, mm, never forget, I live in California, Monterey peppers, astounding. These are known to kill bacteria. Mm, I eat them raw now. Remember the story in the 70s when I was an herbal expert that came out that shocked the world that studies had found that gastric ulcers, which had been treated with milk in the 50s by ignorant doctors, were found to be eliminated. The pyloric bacteria were killed by chili pepper, right? So now we're living in the age of COVID. It's a virus, I understand that. However, there are bacteria who weaken our immune system. So if we can kill the bacteria that weaken our immune system, we also resist the viruses. See, food is medicine. Chinese have known that for ages. It's been lost in America with McDonald's. You see the food, the garbage on the ants? Have you ever seen anything like this? The same assholes who are pushing the vaccine are pushing foods that weaken our immune system. Mmm. Mmm. Honey, let's go out and get that cream pie. Let's eat that. <laughs> Have you ever seen this? Food is medicine, but food is also a toxic poison if you don't know what the hell you're doing. I watch fake Italian chefs. It's sad. I see these kids, they come out of cooking school. They're nice guys. Well, we put in that cream, we put in that butter, we add a little salt, and they put in two grams of salt. They put in this, they put in the butter, the cream, the dairy. They're not cooking Italian food, they're cooking poison food. You know, trust who you believe in, what can I tell you? I know what I'm doing. So, a couple of other things. I'm going to put it in this uh, little... Uh, uh, Twitter cast of mine. I happen to love this Twitter thing. Uh, people put down Twitter. It's actually liberated me to do my cooking shows where I can reach you directly. It's not all bad. It depends upon who's doing it. So if it's 15, 20, 30,000 people watch the cooking show, I want you to think about that for a minute. Think of an auditorium. I used to do live events. If you could fill 2,000 people, an event it was big so if you came to the Marin Civic Center to watch me this is 10 times 20 times bigger than that so I'm reaching enough people I don't care about the whole world all I care about is 20,000 people who have a brain and can evaluate think rationally understand what's going on so before I sit down to eat my dinner and I do not care about the trolls God takes care of the trolls God will take care of all of them they will all be punished in our lifetime, not in the next lifetime. In fact, most of the trolls have been punished in this lifetime, by the way. That's why they became trolls. They're bitter. They're losers. They hate anyone who's successful and smart. They don't even think about what they're doing. Pay no attention to the stream of, of trolls. They're garbage. 
Twitter lets everyone comment, which is a problem. I've said before, and I'll say it again. There should be no longer any anonymity on social media. I Now, wait a minute. I know many of you say, oh, well, the oppressed in other countries will be afraid to speak. You know what? I don't care about other countries. I want the cowardly vermin in this country who act as trolls and change their addresses every 10 minutes to be exposed. I want their names. I want their IP addresses, and it will stop it. But that's a separate story for another day. I will talk about one other topic before I sit down and eat my dinner, watch the rain come in. <laughs> this is the funniest thing in the world. Right on cue, the Mediterranean climate kicks in in Northern California. You know, it was hot. It was dry. We had a drought. All of a sudden, oh, winter's here, and it's a little early. <laughs> Hurricane storm coming in. Now what are the vermin in the media saying? It's sad. You talk about propaganda. You talk about a conspiracy theory. These poor schmucks in the media, the news people. For six months, the world is coming to an end. The country's dying. The drought is here. Now nature acts the way it normally acts come November or late October with rain in Northern California. It's a Mediterranean climate, as I've taught you for so many years. Basically six months hot, six months dry, six months wet. Here it comes, and what do they say right away to the schmuck? Say, thank God, the rain is coming. No, they talk about mudslides coming, traffic jams coming. And you wonder why people despise and hate the media, hate the scum in the media. Now, those of you in the media who may be watching this, the two of you, you have a choice. You can stand up to the anti-white hatred in the media. You can stand up to the advertisers who are putting only blacks, people with hair lips, Asians. Let's see, what else? Anyone but a white person in, in, in an ad. Where are the people in the advertising business who lost their jobs? Where are they? Do they have the balls to speak out? All the beautiful women who were pushed aside, they have the words to say. You better start speaking out of you. You know what? You will be relegated to the ash bin of history by the vermin on the left who are conducting a naked communist revolution. And I'll say that again. I will say it again and again and again. And I want you to pay attention. I'm a nation's elder. I'm one of the elders of the nation who knows what's going on. I don't care whether they agree with me. Hold on, i got to taste this. Mm. You see, as it dries out, it gets better. Here's the thing about food. Mm. Not only do you know how to cook it, you have to know how to dry it out after it's cooked. you got to let it sit and dry out. See, then it gets, it gets tastier. The flavors actually go into everything. I'll put this on. See, I don't want it to now start to steam. I want it to just be warm. The, fl the flames roll up. Um, there are people in every nation who respect their elders. I'm one of the elders. I was in the media for 27 years after two other great careers. And I'm telling you as I stand here, as all those with brains, knowledge, and historical insights know, we are going through a minor communist revolution and we are not in the infancy. That's the sad part. Because of Bernie Sanders, that piece of shit, that garb, that bastard. You don't know how much I despise that man. I wish God had aborted him at birth. I wish, put that on, on Twitter. I wish God had aborted Bernie Sanders at birth. That piece of garbage, that communist bastard, has almost destroyed this country by brainwashing over a million young people, including occasional cortex, who knows better. But she is an Hispanic supremacist who is Machiavellian and is moving very rapidly because de Blasio, the naked communist, has just given her $8 billion of the city pension funds. $8 billion to this ass wipe who was a bartender who stole tips to spend on green things. You know what green things are? Nancy Pelosi's Goombas, AOC's Goombas. The Goombas are in the AOC green business, you get it? The green business is bigger than the smuggling of illegal aliens. The green business is bigger than drugs. 
The green business is the biggest scam in the history of the world. And if you don't believe me, then you're a moron. So I will conclude tonight by saying to you, my podcast on Tuesday, which you're going to have to watch, the Michael Savage podcast, listen to me. I interviewed a former CIA pilot who, by the way, also flew for Jimmy Hoffa. He was Jimmy Hoffa's private pilot. He knows everything. That's right. I have an exclusive. And I asked him about the fall of Phnom Penh in Cambodia and who Pol Pot was. He knows, man. He knows where we are. I regret nothing. And if I could sing, my song would be in French. Je ne regrette pas.